I'm about to make a terrible mistake. This is garbage. Get it out of here. But this, this is more my style. I'm Axel Ward and I am yet again throwing away another project, kind of. I just want to make my own game engine for it. So that's what I'm doing. It's time to get out my three new best friends. Boom, boom, boom. Three fat books. And trust me, I hear you. Axel, how are you gonna finish a game engine if you can't even finish a game? I'll tell you what, starting a new project every two weeks is the way I roll. It's what I wanna do right now. So that's what we're doing, lads. We're writing a game engine in C++. I don't know a thing about it. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna get it done. We'll see how it goes. That's a triangle, and that's a square, and now that's a colored square, and now that I have all this stuff, I have no idea what the f*** is next. So now it's time to get out one of my trusty best friends and start reading. And by golly, was reading a good decision. Like holy piss, I had no idea how much stuff I needed to do. But let's pause right there for just a second and talk about why I am no longer using Unity. First of all, I'm a programmer, I'm not an artist, and so I'd rather spend more time programming. And what better way to do that than program your own game engine in C++. Second of all, game engines are cool as and to write my own, that's even cooler. So those are the main reasons why. Also like learning and getting better at programming, but that's all like side stuff that doesn't really matter. And don't get me wrong, I still really wanna make the SID initiative. I just want to do it in my own game engine. So I'm going to jump in and start working on a resource management system and we'll see where it goes. I feel like this is going to be happening a lot. Give me just one second. Bam! Shaders in their own files. So you know what that means? Math. Bam, we're operating in 3D now. And just like that, we have some camera movement and everything's broken. There we go. Now we have ambient light. And it only took me three days to have a cube with some directional lighting going. And I know that three days is, to be nice, a decent chunk of time for just a cube. But it is just a little bit more than a cube. There is a lot of stuff happening in the background to get the cube to the screen in a more intelligent way than just throwing vertices at OpenGL. And instead of me just talking about that stuff, let's jump into the code and actually look at it. So here we are in the render engine class. Here, it's getting the model data from the resource manager, then here, 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 and yuck! No more of that. Let's be honest for a second. That code is dog like, look at how much repetition there is in this bitch. Instead of talking about garbage code, let's get in there and fix it. <sighs> it's a new morning, and that's the feeling you get when you finally fix the bug that's been staring you straight in the eyes for an hour, two hours, maybe three, who knows. It was a long time. This week has pretty much just been me relearning C++. That shit's hard. Quick tip, check what your getter functions are returning. Tends to help a little bit. But I'm gonna jump in and fix some pretty poorly written code and then yeah, that'll probably be it for me for the week. Okay, so now all of the engine components have been turned into singleton classes, which makes referencing them a whole lot easier and instantiating them a whole lot safer. So yeah, everything is feeling a whole lot cleaner now. 
But at this point, that's going to be it for this week's video. I know this is a shorter one and it's a little bit different style. I couldn't be more excited about writing my own game engine. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and we will see you next week.